It's the real Ghostbusters Firehouse playset. Here's a special request from a very special someone. My wife. It's for the real Ghostbusters Firehouse by Kenner. It was released in 1987, the second year of the real Ghostbusters toy releases, and unlike Joe and Transformers boxes, didn't feature custom artwork. Just a picture of the actual firehouse with a very lucky kid playing with it. One side had a color photo showing off some of the play features, and another side and the back featured a black and white drawing of the firehouse similar to what you'd find on the back of large G.I. Joe vehicles, like the Tomahawk, along with the same style of data points about the play features and accessories. Every great toy line needed an impressive playset for the heroes, or villains, to call home, and the real Ghostbusters firehouse is one of the tallest structures built in the 80s. Wow, this is really fantastic. It looks just like the real thing. It matched the height of Fortress Maximus, the tallest G1 Transformer, giving the boys the high ground when it came to busting spooks, specters, or ghosts. I don't like that gleam in his eyes. Don't worry, fellas. He's one of the good guys. Not according to my PKE meter. That's at least a Class 8 free-roaming vapor. Worse. A full magnitude Class 10. Whatever it is, it's about to mash Manhattan into cheese spread. Don't say it, Egon. Let me. We're in trouble. Arm proton gun! The only way we can trap it is to drive it out of that machine. Steady! Steady! Any time, Ray! Trap open! Come on down! Boy, what a catch, huh? The firehouse included the infamous containment unit. This is the Ecto Containment System, where all the captured ghosts are stored and an oversized trap used to empty ghosts into it. The smaller trap has a slide on it, which you can open up to capture ghosts, and it fits nicely into the back of Ecto-1. Once transported back to the firehouse, the trap can be fitted on top of the containment unit. Welcome to our 220 volt, 10 megawatt Ecto containment unit. Nighty night. You slide the trap across, which opens the containment unit, and when the light is green, the trap is clean. Even though the ghosts are loaded into the top of it, I like the sculpting on the front to make it look like the one on the show, with a little hole where the smaller traps would be inserted. We got all the ghosts, and as soon as we dump them into our trusty high voltage laser containment system, we can finally eat. Once they're inside, there's no way for the ghosties to get out of this ironclad containment unit. But you have to remember to always use the smaller trap to deposit ghosts. Don't ever slide the door on the top of the containment unit directly like this. Uh-oh. I really wish you hadn't done that. Oh. Big, big trouble. Has he gotten bigger since the last time? I told you not to put veggies in the containment unit. <laughs> Blast them! Okay, okay. I don't have to like it. He's too big for the ghost traps we have with us. firehouse had three levels. The bottom level was the garage. This is a ghost busting and containment facility, not a garage. Sorry, Janine. This garage looking area is where you could keep Ecto-2, Janine's bug, or Ecto-1. 
The floor featured four recesses to help hold vehicles in place so that they wouldn't accidentally roll back or forward. It goes too long to fit in these four divots though. You have to either fit the front tires and have the back roll off the floor, or have the back two tires in the divots and have the front of Ecto peeking through the doors, which is how I prefer to display. The doors are notoriously easy to break. Look out below! Probably because kids love to smash Ecto through the doors whenever they'd get a call. The safer bet was just to go through them. Like Slimer here. In addition to not fitting horizontally, Ecto also won't fit vertically if the chair is mounted on the roof. You'll have to remove it in order to have enough clearance to make it through the doorway. If Ecto or other vehicles aren't parked, you could use a desk and chair from other toy lines like this set from the J. Jonah Jameson Spider-Man movie figure for Janine. Ghostbusters, if it goes boo, we know what to do. Kissing. There are some sticker details on the wall, and the coolest gimmick, the fire pole, but we'll get to that in a couple of floors. Next floor up is what looks like a library, no doubt holding Tobin's Spirit Guide. According to Tobin's Spirit Guide. And other paranormal literature for Egon and Ray to research. There isn't much to this floor, just some removable railing pieces. Just a quiet, relaxing room to unwind after a long, creepy day of battling the undead. There's enough room on the bookshelf to place accessories from other toy lines like a vase, test tubes, a slime jar, and some lovely beverages, because Bustin' Ghosts requires electrolytes. One of the walls has a bookshelf sticker, but if you want something three-dimensional, there's enough room between the windows to add a real one, like this one from the Peter Parker Spider-Man movie figure. This open space right here could easily be customized to be a kitchen, since that was a room that was featured a lot on the cartoon. Here we go! Hot off the stove! Well, what is it, Ray? I call it my ferocious fondue casserole. It's from an old family recipe. Yeah, real old. Table and chairs courtesy of Marauder Gunrunners. And some dinner for the fellas. If Slimer doesn't get to it first. The top floor appears to be pretty bare too. Just some more railing and a picture on the wall of what appears to be Granny Gross. There's a hole in the floor where the ghosties can float up. And the floor in the middle is part of the goop grate feature that's connected to the roof and has floor pegs to hold your figures upright as they're being slimed. This floor is also where you can load your Ghostbusters onto the fire pole whenever Janine gets a call. Roll on! Instead of just sliding straight down, this platform spins Venkman, Spengler, Stance, and Zedmore around and around all the way to the garage simply by switching this tab over on the roof. Now I'm glad we skipped dinner. The boys are ready to produce their own slime when they're done this ride. Yuck! Yuck. The platform on the pole has to be spun back up though. Trying to push it straight back up would be bad. It could be even worse than crossing the streams. And is the reason why so many of these have been broken over the years. Since the Ghostbusters live in the firehouse, there's plenty of room to add some beds or cots where they can snooze until it's time to go to work. <sighs> or you can store the containment unit here. If your garage is already taken up by Ecto-1 and you're not a fan of having the unit just sit on the floor beside the playset. The roof featured some sculpted walkway detailing and the first part of the goop grate. No way! Oh no! I've been goop! This is where you would pour your official Ghostbusters slime, or Mattel Masters of the Universe slime or Turtles Ooze Mutagen through the roof and it would pour down to the third floor I've been slimed! through that goop grate and all the way to the garage. Unfortunately, or maybe I should say fortunately, I wasn't able to find any slime in my area to test this out old school style. So I'll just have to do it the 2018 way. 
with CGI. While it was quite a sight seeing ectoplasm ooze down three separate floors, this also created so much more cleanup. Two goop grates, the garage floor, and two figures would need cleaning after you're done. Get rid of our uniforms. They absorbed a frightening amount of psychokinetic energy during our battle with Gozer. They'll have to be destroyed. The roof could also hold airborne vehicles like the Ecto-2 or any other helicopter from another toy line. And finally, let's take a look at the exterior. There's windows to let a lot of natural light in, really nice brick sculpting on the front, and some brick stickers on the side that kind of make the place look like a dump. I think we've been insulted. No two ways about it, this place is a mess. Hey, no problem. We'll just fix the place up better than before, right? Yeah, that's the spirit, Ray. And another thing that often needs fixing is the sign hanging on the front, letting customers know the Ghostbusters are open for business. The sheer size of it is what appeals to me the most, and having a place to store Ecto-1. A few extra features would have been nice, like a bell, considering it is a firehouse, but it's not too hard to just stick a bike bell to the wall. And some holes on the wall to store the proton packs and other ghost-busting weapons would have been nice. Maybe some beds or cots, as I mentioned, for the third floor. It's very much like the firehouse when the Ghostbusters first move in. A fixer-upper with a lot of potential, but plenty of fun play features for people who aren't into customizing. It's funny, when I think of iconic moments that still give me chills or a warm fuzzy feeling from cartoons of the 80s, I think of Prince Adam holding his sword aloft and saying, By the power of Grayskull! Hot Rod opening the Matrix and lighting our darkest hour. Arise, Rodimus Prime. Optimus. Yeah! lion -O calling upon the Thundercats. Thunder, 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 Thundercats, ho! But there was one I forgot. Ecto-1 bursting out of the firehouse wasn't a classic cartoon moment that came to mind. What a surprise. But when I was reviewing the footage, there it was. The feeling. Yes, I know. That old 80s magic. Let's roll! And the 80s toy museum is just a bit more magical with this iconic moment of the Fearless Four and their sweet ride on their way to bust ghosts frozen in plastic perpetuality. Kinda makes you feel warm all over, doesn't it? Sure does, Peter. Thanks to my wife for the request. Never had one of these growing up, so it was fun to get a closer look at it and play around with it a bit. Hope you had fun too. I just want you to know that I'm having a wonderful time. That's good, Egon. Here's to the firehouse. To the firehouse! To the firehouse! Got a real Ghostbusters ghost story you'd like to share? Scroll down and go to town. And to join the tribe, blast subscribe. Nerdmas Day.